Hey, what is up guys? This is Brett here from brettdev.com and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it is a lovely rainy day here in Thailand. We are now in the monsoon season and it has been raining like this constantly for two straight days and nights. It is absolutely insane. I've never seen rain like this before, I don't think in my life. Now I decided I still want to record a video and I thought actually, do you know what, I've never, I don't think I've ever done a video in the rain. So this is going to create some nice ambience perhaps. Um, I have two microphones just because I'm not sure how, the, it's pretty loud, if you were here it would be distracting. So two different mics might eliminate some of the noise. I only want a little bit of ambience, okay, not too much. Anyway, today in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about why I left the UK and why I will never go back there again. So I'm not going to talk about all of the obvious reasons that I could mention. For example, it rains a lot in the UK. That, that's, a, um, that's a big one. No, but seriously, yes, it does rain a lot in the UK. Um, crime is out of control in the UK. You know, it's very, very expensive and all that stuff. These are all the obvious things that people mention all of the time. Instead, what I'm going to do is, today in this video, I'm going to give you my kind of primary reasons that may be a little bit different to what you would expect, okay? But they may be reasons that you might want to leave, okay? These are these are really based on how I feel, how I feel about the country, how I feel about Thailand in comparison to the UK. And some of you guys, I'm guessing, will probably feel the same. One of the main reasons that I left the UK is that as an independent person, as somebody who you know doesn't want to work for somebody else, who somebody who's, who has never liked working a nine to five, doesn't like taking orders, bit of a rebel. Um, one big problem with living in the UK is it's very difficult to prosper and to be independent. Okay, unless you have a ton of money, unless you come from a very very wealthy background, um, you always have to kind of you know go along with the system. You're forced to work a nine to five. It costs an incredible amount of money to start a business. And if you want to start an online business like I've done, um, it's very, very difficult to do so because you can't really take the time out of your life to pursue your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, whatever, okay? And that's because you're always working a nine to five and you have to work a nine to five because you have to earn so much money in the UK just to survive, just to live, just to pay your bills, just to pay your rent. So by the time you've gone to work in the morning, by the time you're back at 6 p.m., you have no energy, you can't really start an online business in the UK um, without extreme struggle and extreme difficulty. This is why you see so many people coming to Thailand, so many people coming here to start online businesses, and why you see so many vloggers and things like that, is because it costs so little to live in Thailand, you really are able to free up your time to work on you know, becoming independent, building an online business, following your passions. Because if you're working for like Western clients, for example, like what I do, um, then you don't have to work that much. You can work a couple of hours a day and make all of the money that you need to live and then spend all of the rest of your time pursuing your own personal, you know, development, building your own online business, that kind of stuff. Back in the UK, that's impossible. You kind of have to go along with the system. And if you're the type of person that doesn't want to go along with the system, if you're the type of person that doesn't fit into that nine to five, you know, go to school, go to college, go to university, come out, get your degree, get your degree, come out, get a job, get a mortgage, go to work every day, commute on the train. If you're the type of person that doesn't like fit into that framework, it can feel incredibly overbearing. And it's what makes a lot of people miserable, okay? A lot of people are stuck in this. A lot of people are stuck in the rat race, as we like to say. Um, you know, some people do it and they're fine with it, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. And if you don't fit into that, then you're going to be very, very unhappy for the rest of your life. So, you know, that's one of my top reasons. You're, you really are trapped in the system in the UK, and you are just unable to prosper. You're unable to prosper as an individual. By the way, guys, if you are interested in learning exactly what it is that I do to make money online, how I moved to Thailand and all of that stuff, I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but you can check out my free four-part video series on my website. 
all you have to do is go to brettdev.com forward slash workshop and you can access all four videos. In those videos, I go into how I came to Thailand, what I do to make money, well, what I used to do to make money, what I now do to make money, and all of that stuff. So if you want the lowdown on that, then go to brettdev.com forward slash workshop. The second reason I'll never go back to the UK is not only do you have to fit in with the system in the UK, but the system is against you. In the UK, I don't know about the rest of the world, perhaps it's the same for the US. I've, I've made videos on similar topics before and people in the comments say the US isn't as bad, but one thing I will say is in the UK, there is so much regulation, there is so much taxation. The government is so overbearing in places like the UK. I think it's very similar for Canada and Australia and things like that, that I honestly believe that these systems are set up like I said before, it's very difficult to get ahead. The system is against you and it's set up to prevent you getting ahead. It wants you to be a part of, part of the system and it doesn't want you to break out. And we see this in various different forms, okay? Um, with, there's so many taxes, there's council taxes, there's TV licenses in the UK. There's a license, there's a tax for absolutely anything and everything. You know, if you leave your car in the wrong place, you've got to pay a huge fine. You've got to pay like a £60 fine in the UK. That is absolutely insane. In comparison in Thailand, I, there is literally nothing. I, I live out here, I pay my rent, I pay my electric, I pay the water. I was just going to say I think the land covers the water. No, I cover the water. Um, I pay my phone and my internet. That's it. And then I have to sort my visas out. Those are the only expenses I have. I don't have to worry about I don't even have to worry about parking tickets. In Thailand, if I can just leave my bike wherever I want, you never really get a ticket. I had a ticket one time and it cost me 200 baht, which was, it's the equivalent of about five pounds. Okay, so all of these obstacles and all these things that are put in your way in the UK to kind of pin you down, to hold you down, you know, they just don't exist out here. And I honestly believe that they're designed to keep you down. So the second reason I'm never going to go back to the UK is because I honestly feel like the system is against you. The system is there to oppress you. Um, maybe it wasn't designed that way, but it's evolved into this beast of oppression. And it just makes you feel trapped. It makes you feel like there's no way out. Um, there is a way out. You can leave. But the oppressive government, the taxation, the overregulation, you know, even if you want to start a business, it's going to cost you tens of thousands of dollars just to start a business in the UK, just because you have to get all of the permits, all of the licenses. In Thailand, it's very, very easy to open a business. Pretty much anybody can open a business in Thailand. Um, it's so straightforward. You don't have to deal with all these permits. You don't have to jump through all these loopholes. But this is a problem with the West, isn't it? You know, it's in America as well. Um, you know, I was reading something about in the United States, it, like comparison to China. In China, they'll just like build a city in a year in America, it takes them like eight years to build a highway um, through a town. And it's because of the massive overbearing regulation. And why this is in place, I would say it's probably due to corruption in the West. Um, like I said, it's, 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 it's by design, in my opinion. But it's, 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 uh, it, it, that kind of goes hand in hand with the first point I made. It, it makes it almost impossible for you to prosper and get ahead. And the system is purposely designed, in my opinion, to be against you and to prevent you from doing that. I just mentioned um, parking tickets, right? So this is another thing that I really, really hated about living in the UK. And this is kind of moving on to my third point. You know, when I was in the UK, I was, used to live in a town called Essex and I used to work in a nightclub. So we used to have a lot of interactions with the police on a regular basis. And the police, the people that give you parking tickets, traffic wardens, they're all absolute assholes. okay? The UK is full of so many jobs worth wankers. Um, but it's, for me, it was intolerable, okay? I couldn't stand the people that I was around. And this is the third reason that I will never go back to the UK. And I'm sorry if, if you're from the UK and you think I'm wrong and you think everybody's nice. I may have a biased opinion based on where I'm from um, in the southeast of England. But the third reason I'm never going to go back to the UK is because of the people. And like I mentioned this in, like in, the, in the previous point, the system is against you. Who is it that enforces this system upon you? It is the people. The system can't operate by itself. 
The only reason the UK has a horribly oppressive system that pins you down, that makes you miserable, that pesters you, harasses you, puts tickets on your cars, tells you you can do this, tells you you can't do that, controls your life with a million different rules. We saw this during COVID. And I've made videos about this in the past. I made a video back in 2018 or 2019 called Police State Britain, and everybody in the comments laughed at me and said I was wrong. We saw what happened during COVID, okay? The only reason these systems, these oppressive systems can remain in place is because of the people. The jobs worth miserable, you know, assholes that serve this system, serve the UK system, and maybe less, to a lesser extent the American system from what I can see. Why is it this way? Again, I don't know. I believe honestly that a lot of people in the UK are unhappy and they just don't know what to do about it. Now, I've lived out here in Thailand for seven years and you do not experience that. In Thailand, you have a sense of community. People are actually respectful for one another. You, I've never, I don't think ever, come across anybody that's malicious in that kind of way that I see on a regular basis in the UK. And to give you one example, I lived in the UK, um, I lived in a flat in the UK for 10 years. My front door would open out onto my neighbor's door I never even spoke to my neighbor in about 10 years. What the hell is that? I have more interaction in Thailand. I live in a Thai community and I have a greater sense of community and more interaction with the Thai people in my community than I ever had with anybody in the UK. And I don't even speak the language very well. Is that not absolutely insane? Going back to my previous points, the system is against you, but it's the people that enforce the system. And going back to my first point, it's impossible to get ahead as an independent person. It's because the system is against you. Okay, so it's this vicious cycle of oppression and the people of the country going along with it and enforcing it upon themselves and their communities. There is no community left in the UK. There may be in some places, like I said, my opinion may be biased because I'm now from the southeast. I know that people in the north, northerners are generally a lot more friendly than southerners. Um, but the lack of community there and just the jobs worthiness of the people and how they prey on one another in their own communities. Um, even crime, if you look at how out of control crime is. Those are the reasons. Those are the top three reasons why I will never ever go back to the UK. Besides all of the obvious things, okay? There's bad weather, you know, um, Thailand's just better in many ways. But those are the top three reasons. It's almost impossible to prosper and to get ahead as an independent person. You can't really start a business. You can't open a business without going through extreme difficulty. The second point, like I said, the system is against you. And thirdly, it's the people, and in all honesty, it's the people. They make me sick. The people, it's the people of the country that enforce this system. And I can't bear to be around them. In the UK, in, in Thailand, sorry, the people are amazing. This is why I live in this country. Everybody says to me, Brett, what do you like about Thailand? The number one thing is the people. I couldn't give a shit about the sun, the, the landscape. That's all secondary. For me, the number one thing is the people, and I don't think you will find a nicer group of people on this entire planet than you will in Thailand. That's all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. And um, as I said earlier on, if you want to know my full story, if you want to know how I came to Thailand, what I do to stay out here, how I make money online, then check out this link. And if you like this video, then I'm sure you're probably going to really, really like this one. That's all for now, and I'll see you in the next one.